Hey guys, I'm coming today to show you the finds I have gotten at the dollar store. And uh, the uses that I, you know, use for each one. You've seen these uh, bungee straps, they have carabiners already on them. You know, these come in very handy. I, you know, hang my pack in the tree with these. You know, I use these for multi purpose. That was two dollars at dollar store. This I've been trying to find one of these for a long time. That is a folding, you know, spade, shovel, whatever. This here was two dollars. And uh, stainless steel construction. If you look at it, there's no way that you know you could break this really. I mean, it's strong. You'd have to either bend this or whatever. But these aren't coming out of here or whatever. It's a nice, it's a nice tool. I bought this, you know, it's a compass, uh, no bubbles in it, the, you know, it reads well and such, has a magnifying glass that uh, will start um, char cloth, um, it's a weaker magnifying glass, it will start char cloth, but it's a weaker one, but uh, compass and such, that was two bucks. I've got a thermometer. I've actually used this on, uh, I've got smaller ones now, but I bought this for uh, a buck at the dollar store. Now this, I got for two dollars as you can see. Now, it's the uh, folding stove. has these nice little, uh, the ball, you know, goes in to uh, be able to set this up. You know, this is a uh, Esbit burner. You know, kind of thing. You can put it on that setting, or you can open it all the way. Which, it comes with 12 small Esbit. Now, that alone, just the Esbit alone, you pay $6 for uh, at Canadian Tire. And the stove with the Esbit is over 12 bucks. I got it for 2 I've used a couple of the Esbit with the, uh, you know, multi-fuel cook system that I have. But uh, that's that. Two bucks. This here is a stainless steel water bottle. And I have this with my all stainless steel kit. And that was two dollars. And that that's 600 milliliters. I've got a aluminum uh, water bottle which is 600 milliliters also. And uh, I usually fill both of these up plus my canteen when I go out on a camping trip. Now, hand sanitizer, $1.25. I bring this, um, I just started doing this, uh, you know, with my multi-fuel cook kit and use that to uh, cook with. I actually took it out on my last uh, trip. I didn't film the trip, but uh, I boiled water with that and uh, made a meal with this here. Uh, I got the Duraflame fire... Uh, fire starter logs. They're just, uh, I got them in here, but if you look at it, it's just a great big log. But uh, I don't really use it much because there's so much out there, right? So I've got that. You guys seen me set up this, uh, you know, camping shelter. Uh, it was two bucks. Now, I want to go over, uh, well, here's, here's the, uh, I got 190 feet of jute twine comes in handy. You can use that for fire starter or you know tying things. Use it for cordage. Uh, I've got this here. Um, it's like a cotton rope kind of fine rope. I use this for everything. Uh, this stuff here works great. It's very strong, and you know I don't know how many feet there, but a lot. I've got this here. This is a uh, multi fiber. And uh, it's very absorbent. Plus, it uh, you know you can use it as washcloth or a dry towel. And uh, that was a buck. Now I've gotten into uh, this here. This is all the uh, knife, forks, you know, spoons you'll ever need, you know, in a cook kit. And if you look at it, it's long handled, and you know. These come in very handy. 
I used to use these all the time and uh, such, but I've uh, been using my stainless steel set. And plus, I just recently purchased a spork from uh, Canadian Tire for $1.99. Now this here is what I wanted to show you. This is my camping spatula. It's uh, nice and small, as you can see. It's nice and small, but it has the uh, normal size head on it. And what I did is I bought this at the dollar store. It had a handle on it, and all I did was cut it off right here, right where the handle started. And now it's nice and lightweight, packable, and I have a good size spatula. Um, you know for camping and all I did was cut the handle off you know they go right up to the handle right here that's where the handle would normally be well I just cut it off right there and now I have a very nice spatula for a buck then I've got these here these are dog collars and uh, you know they come in very handy for uh, strapping on you know, bed rolls, uh, tarps, you know, strapping them around. I got a video there on uh, the uh, dog collars and uh, check that out. But they come in very handy. It was a buck fifty. Now I want to show you, I'm going to lift you up this time. Now I'm going to show you the uh, lights I have. This here was two dollars and it is ultra bright it is very good uh, it's a very good light the bottom here actually these things flip out and so it gives you a sturdier base but this here is two dollars that's a nice light it's nice and compact also nice little lantern I've got this flashlight from the dollar store I believe this was uh, two dollars and this is a very bright light it's lead light the same as the uh, lantern here and LED lights last a lot longer than uh, the normal lights out there. This one here, you know, normal light bulb and such. This is a flashlight. Or this slips down and you turn it upside down and you have a uh, lantern. That This uh, part here actually becomes a lantern because what happens is those three little LED lights are uh, shining down on that. Now when you push that closed, bear with me, all that does is go down and, and uh, covers those LED lamps. So it acts as a flashlight. That was uh, $2. Now this one here, it said $2 on the uh, package, but I got it for a buck. It didn't, it rang in for a buck. And I told him, I said, I'm pretty sure that that was $2 and uh, you know, he said, well, it's ringing in for a buck. It must be misprint or something. So I said, well, I didn't want to rip you off. Well, you know, it was a buck kind of thing. But still, I didn't feel comfortable. I had to uh, let him know that it should have been $2. But anyway, uh, he gave it to me for a buck. And this one here is very bright. Uh, my buddy has, you know, a $25 lantern. And a lot of those $20 ones and $40 ones don't work very well. Uh, this one here is about is just as bright as his, and it works great. The um, configuration of it or such, you know, I don't know, but that there works great. It really does. I'm very happy. I take that out all the time. Uh, these little small flashlights, they work great. You know, they're a couple bucks. You know, they're very bright. They work great also. And then you have these ones here, and I've showed these in my video and such. And uh, these are my strobing animal repellent lights that I put out. You know, and uh, I've, you know, I took this, I t I've taken it out a dozen times now. And uh, these actually do work. I've never had an animal come into my camp. I have before this. And I've had... Uh, you know, deer come close to my camp and they start blowing, you know, blowing and such, and because they don't know what it is and they're and they're kind of scared or whatever, but they stay way away. But uh, I have other stuff also. These are just some of the finds that you find at the dollar store, you know, and uh, 
I would advise you to go check out your local dollar store and see what they have. I mean, I can walk through almost every section and think, hmm, I could use that. I could do this to it to make it into a, uh, you know, bushcraft item and so on and so forth. So, there you go. Uh, hope you guys seen something you liked and might check out your dollar store and uh, see if there's anything there that you can use. So, take care of all and uh, I'll see you on YouTube.